Hello everyone, WX Ninja here with your daily weather forecast. If you'd like to receive these every day, just subscribe, click the bell icon, you'll get notified as soon as I make a video. Alright, let's hop into it and see what's going on. As you can see, it's colder out west, drops down to the four corner regions, back up to the Great Lakes. We see some snow in the central part of the U.S. and we see some snow out west. It's a big, big system coming in, a uh, meteorological bomb if you will. Uh, this low pressure center is just developing and rapidly intensifying off the coast as it moves on in. It's going to move on in as a strong low. Some blizzard-like conditions <clears throat> higher up in the mountains. You're going to see several feet of snow. It may shut down parts of I-5. So if you're traveling in this area from, let's say, around Medford south into northern California, you could see highways get shut down due to the amount of snow, heavy, heavy snowfall rates. Eastern slopes of the Cascades here in Oregon are going to see some heavy snowfall as well. So you're going to have a snowy Thanksgiving over there. It's going to make travel difficult, obviously. So just be prepared. Plan ahead. If you are planning on driving or maybe taking a plane somewhere, uh, you may see some airport delays or shut down. Just depending on how bad this gets. Now as we go on into the Thanksgiving Day forecast, which everyone is interested in, here you see that strong low off the west coast. As we go forward in time, you see that low approach the coast at 971 millibars. Strong, strong low. That's why you see the tightly packed isobars. These are uh, lines of pressure. So lots of lines means a lot of pressure and a lot of wind with a strong pressure difference. So it's going to be windy, especially higher up. This isn't an ideal track for a huge windstorm, but still uh, higher up elevations are going to see some wind and some blizzard-like conditions. As we go forward in time, we're going to see this low move over to... Uh, the northern part of the U.S. and this one come on shore, making that snow more widespread. Later Wednesday, you see everything kind of move off to the east. This is moving off to the north and then east. A little bit of uh, ice coming into parts of Texas and New Mexico. Here's the early morning hours of Thanksgiving. You can see some snow and some ice and some rain. You can see a stronger low off the east coast, lots of rain, some uh, wind. They're talking about maybe some balloons not flying in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade due to this wind, so we'll have to see how that shapes out. And that snow is ending out west. Go on through the day of Thanksgiving, you see the snow starts to spread up into the north. A little bit of ice left behind as the snow moves off the east coast. Snow up into the typical areas of Idaho, Montana. Pretty decent ice storm here. So it's going to be kind of an icy Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Um for you there in the central part of the U.S. Rain and mountain snow for the Four Corners region. That's going to uh, spread all the way to the north with snow in Montana and the colder areas up there. A little bit of ice here in the Dakotas. That gets more widespread as we move throughout Friday. And that low comes and gets a little bit stronger. More widespread snow and ice for your Friday. Here's into Saturday. Same kind of deal, just sticks around as it moves off to the east. See another shot of rain and mountain snow coming into the west. Tries to spread snow up into Oregon and some of the lower elevations maybe. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Snow for the mountains of California. Big, big system here. Starting to spread some ice and snow off to the east. That gets more widespread and then turns into more snow. So we see the snow and ice here still in the west. Looks like it's going to be a possible snowstorm here for the east coast as we move into monday looks like it could get real snow along the east coast there some more rain and mountain snow back out in the west this low starting to move off looks by the end of the day monday early hours of tuesday it's going to be off the coast so the snow and rain and wind will be ending there gets pretty quiet out west and we kind of go quiet overall in the country as we move into next week a little bit of a snow maker here coming off <clears throat> the Great Lakes region onto the east coast. See some rain out west, another tropical system into the Four Corners region. Uh, <clears throat> same kind of deal continues. This moves off the east coast. This gets a little stronger out into the uh, Texas, Oklahoma area. Looks like another strong low trying to approach the west coast here next Friday. Snowmaker ready to get uh, to hit the east coast again as this moves off through the central part of the U.S., south central part. Strong low coming on to the uh, Oregon and Washington coast there. A little bit of snow there for the east coast, uh, northeast coast. Strong low moves into Vancouver Island here. Rain and mountain snow out west. Kind of just the same deal. Gets a little bit quiet out east. Things are dying down in the west. 
We see a stronger system develop in the central part of the U.S. A little bit of ice out in front of it. And that kind of moves off to the east coast. Doesn't look like it gets very icy anywhere there along the east coast. Some heavier rain and mountain snow here on the west coast with some ice into Idaho, it looks like. Another strong low here, 978 millibars. As we see some rain and snow and ice go into Oregon. This moves off as it does. Looks like you get some colder air wrapped around in it, trying to give some snow and ice to parts of the east coast. And then this system just kind of scoots across the west coast. Now we're way out in time there. All right, let's take a look at the next thing here. There's your snowfall forecast. This is for today. Again, here are the heavier totals out west, 11 inches, 20 inches. Like I said, it might shut down part of I-5, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Some heavier snow central part of the U.S. As we move forward into tomorrow, the snow in Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma area, and heavy snow out west, parts of Nevada, Idaho, up into Montana. Snowstorm ending in Oregon. Things kind of die down, but you get some heavier snows up high in the uh, Four Corners region. Heads off to the northeast with some heavier totals in the parts of uh, Montana and the Dakotas. So we go into Sunday. That moves north, and you see some stronger totals up there in parts of Minnesota. Pretty big snowstorm for the mountains in California. A little bit of snow here on the east coast. That moves off like we saw that strong low. Looks like it's going to throw some heavier totals in spots. A little bit of snow out west. Things kind of die down. A little bit of leftover snow there out in the west. This is Wednesday, December 4th. Pretty quiet overall snow-wise, but we're getting pretty far out in time. So as you take a look at these images, we're just looking at a general pattern to see if these things keep showing up in the models. Uh, see, it's going to be pretty quiet. It looks like not very many systems coming through. Maybe some snow out west here way out in the future. Kind of sticks around, dies down, and then as you see, it goes quiet overall, snow-wise, as we get to the end of the run. Maybe another system coming there. Temperature anomaly. Here's uh, what it looks like. This is as of today. Colder out west, a little warmer out east. Let's move forward in time here, 24 hours. Here is for Wednesday, tomorrow. Cold pool in the um, central part of the U.S. there. And cold up north and off the east or west coast, and then warmer in the east. Thanksgiving Day, here's the cold air bringing the snow to the east coast. A little cold here and cold here. Same kind of deal, really, for Black Friday. Uh, this just moves a little further off the east coast. Stays cooler out west. Same type deal, cooler out west. That moves off to the central part of the U.S. Temperatures kind of moderate out west. And you start to see some warmer than average temperatures in the north. So the part of the U.S. pretty cold, pretty normal out west, a little bit of a cold pool out east. Everything kind of moderates, stays a little warmer than average, a little bit of a warm pool here, and then that kind of moves off to the northeast. All right, the 500 millibar height anomaly. Trying to figure out what's going on here in the atmosphere. So we watch this low develop right about here. This is what's impacting us now and into Thanksgiving Day out west. See the low moving off the east. This kind of gains some steam here, re-strengthens a little bit. Get some blocking here. <clears throat> kind of just moderates overall, pretty normal. It's kind of blocking a little bit, keeping strong systems. You see one try to approach the west coast as it dies off. Kind of scoots across the country. You see another cold one trying to develop, but doesn't quite get here. And then another one uh, there in the northeast states. So this model is trying to figure out what's going on, of course, and it keeps kind of flip-flopping around. It's not really settled into anything specific yet. Uh, I've been watching it real closely the past week or so. Uh, this cold air that we're seeing out west right now was well advertised. But kind of after that, it just it's kind of all over the place. It's not real sure. Originally, it was keeping the higher pressure off the coast, allowing more cold air to drop down to the west coast and out into the eastern part of the U.S. Now it looks like it's kind of all over the place. You see some blocking, and then you see some lower pressures, and it's just not quite sure where it wants to put everything yet. So, I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on things. Um, like I always say, you know, anything after five days is pretty much a guess, and and right now I would say that's definitely the case with this model as it just keeps flip-flopping around. 
And again, these, these kind of tell us what's going to happen with the weather. That's why I like to look at these maps. Tells you what's going up, going on higher up in the atmosphere, how everything's going to be directed. We'll have to see if it kind of holds on to this where it gives us colder air now and then kind of backs off and maybe we get a shot or two, but nothing uh, nothing really stands out yet. So, again, this is WX Ninja. I appreciate you guys stopping by and uh, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. And we will see you next time. Take care, everyone.